everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Sherry. Today we're going to be making kimchi, the national dish of Korea. But in fact, this dish actually came from China, the Koreans just adapted it and made it their own. Kimchi is a fermented food, not unlike sauerkraut, which means it has probiotics, which are good for gut bacteria and to help um, move food through your gut. It also has ginger, which we, I always talk about how good ginger is for you, so we can never have enough of that. Uh, let's go through the ingredients that we'll need. You're going to need a head of Napa cabbage, some ginger, some green onions, garlic, some coarse sea salt. It's typically fish sauce, but I'm going to use soy sauce this time because that's what I have, and I'm also trying to introduce this to some friends, so I'm, I'm trying to put it on the mild side. You're going to need a little bit of sugar, and of course, the star of the show, the crushed red pepper. I'll link everything down below for measurements and to, um, to help you find some of the things that you probably can't find, which probably this is going to be the only one. So uh, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and quarter the cabbage. And the easiest way to do that is to start from the end and then slice your way forward. And just bring it down. And same thing with this side. You want to remove the bad outer peels that have the holes in them or are damaged. And then we're going to give this a good rinse. So after they've been rinsed, you want to go ahead and take your sea salt and sprinkle a little bit between each leaf. Don't worry, this is just used to soften leaves and draw the moisture out. It will be rinsed off before we add the spice to it. Now you're going to sit this aside and let it rest for about four hours and maybe more. We're going to check it and I'll show you what to do then. I have left my cabbage, salted cabbage mixture overnight to develop more flavor. As you can see, the leaves are a little more pliable, but they're still crispy. Um, I would suggest breaking off a little piece, rinsing it off, and tasting it. And if it's to your liking, then go ahead and rinse the rest of it off, squeeze it out really well, and then go on to the next step. So remember the kimchi paste mixture that we made? Um, we're going to use it today, and I cannot recommend highly enough using gloves. Uh, this stuff is very spicy. If you have a sensitivity, you just you don't want to get this everywhere. Um, it also stains, so it's just safer to use the gloves in the first place. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to get a little bit of the mixture. And you're going to put a little bit between each section of leaf. And this is going to be tedious work and we're going to go back and recheck too. So go ahead and continue on with this and I will come back to you. Alright, so once you think everything is sufficiently coated, you're going to go ahead and stuff it into, I would suggest a glass jar or um, a, uh, at least a glass container, airtight container because this stuff's pretty volatile. It will stain plastic and actually the smell will permeate as well. Need all that. Make sure you pack it down in there so no air gets in there. So here's the fun part. You're gonna go ahead and clean the threads of the jar or whatever container. Um, feel free to use saran wrap to create an even more uh, airtight container. We're going to seal this and we're going to leave it on the counter at least 24 hours. Um, in 24 hours, check it. it. If it has a slight sour smell, you're on the right track and you can go ahead and put it in the fridge. If not, leave it out for one more day. Sometimes it takes one to four days to do it. Um, you don't want it to get too sour though because we still want it to eat it when it's nice and crispy. But don't worry, there's uh, a use for every stage of kimchi. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Uh, if you make it, please share a picture with me. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and share.